えー、ようこそあの日本においでいただきましたあのようやく S クラスメルセデスからハイブリッドが、えー、日本に入りましたけれどもあのここ10年ちょっとの間あの日本がこう,うまくハイブリッド化を進めて、まあ、トヨタのことですけれども、まあ、市場をあの新しい自動車の概念をですね作り上げてきた、まあ、ここは認めてもいいのかなと思うんですけれども。あのメルセデスもここに来て急にハイブリッドあるいは電気駆動という新しい技術に非常に積極的になってきたと思いますけれどもその辺の変化をですねお聞かせいただきたいと思います。Well,、um, we at Mercedes feel that、uh, now it is the right time to introduce those products、uh, in,、uh, to the market, not only the Japanese market, which we are very glad to present this product here today. Uh, we have already launched the S400 hybrid in the, into the European market. We are about to launch、uh, um, the S400 hybrid into the US market and also into the Chinese market very soon.、Um, we feel that、uh, with the technology we have、uh, developed and implemented into the S400 hybrid,、uh, we have a product now at our hands that add, adds environmentally friendliness、uh, at a very high level. Uh, to the very well known and well accepted、uh, features of our S Class, which is, of course,、uh, the top model in its segment. And this is why we feel that、uh, with the S400 Highway, we, we will bring a product to the market、uh, that will, so to say, be a further cornerstone、um, in the S Class portfolio in order to maintain its leading position in the various marketplaces. あのハイブリッドシステムそのものに関してあの質問いたしますけれども、えーまあ、ここで S400 アメリカでは ML450H という大きな SUV もハイブリッドで販売されてますしコンセプトカーではメルセデス・ベンツの燃料電池フェアセル・ビークルですね BF セルと言われているものも実はスタックとバッテリーというハイブリッドシステムだと思います。そう考えると来年ディーゼルもハイブリッドを出すというふうに聞いておりますので、すべてのメルセデス・ベンツのまあモビリティ自動車があのハイブリッド化に向かっていくこういうふうにこういうような考え方はあの正しいでしょうか。We think that、uh, with respect to sustainable mobility, and now it comes to the specific Mercedes way to sustainable mobility, the electrification、uh, of the powertrain of the drivetrain. Um, is a major technology in order to do so. And this is why we have started、uh, the electrification of the powertrain, and in consequence, we started with the hybrid powertrain. Our way to sustainable mobility、um, is placed on three major cornerstones, one of which is the improvement of the basic. Uh, drive, conventional drivetrain, including the further development and the implementation of fuel efficiency technologies into our engines and transmissions and drivetrain components. The second is the hybridization, so to say, starting the electrification of the powertrain, leading on to zero, pure zero emission driving. In terms of,、uh, as you already mentioned, the battery electric vehicle.、Um, Battery electric vehicle with range extending or the fuel cell. And in between, there are different solutions、uh, which will be, we will be able to apply to our different products due to the modular architecture,、um, for instance, of the hybrid powertrain. I'm going to say that the media is going to be able to get to the media. I'm going to say that the media is going to be able to get to the media. I'm going to say that the media is going to be はその車をこう従来私たちがずっと楽しんできた走る喜びと少し阻害それを我慢しなければいけないのかなって心配する車好きの人もいるんですけれどもそこの辺に関してはいかがでしょうか When you drive、uh, a hybrid vehicle or you drive、uh, a vehicle with uh, uh, electrified powertrain or pure electric、uh, vehicle、um, I would not believe from my experience that you're really Lacking,、uh, say, fun to drive.、Um, 
I think that uh, the contrary is the case because uh, due to its uh, very specific characteristics of, of an e-drive, uh, you have uh, plenty of torque and plenty of acceleration even at very low speeds, which is uh, a little bit uh, surprising at the first moment. So um, I think that, uh, let's say, the appropriate combination and implementation application of these advanced powertrains and the combination of uh, various technologies makes up to a superior product. And this is uh, the way to go. And we feel that with uh, the products uh, we are currently introducing, for instance, like the uh, S400 hybrid, we show quite uh, interesting examples of how to accomplish this task. So, まあ、いわゆる電気駆動が新しい価値を提供してくれるので、あの、スポーツ走行が、むしろ新しい楽しさがあるよっていうことをまあ、メクイさんはおっしゃったわけですけども、あの、ここで今年ちょうど日本では